So I'm back by the coast and I'm only about like five-ish hours south of Broome. It looks great though. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So I'm back by the coast and I'm only about like five-ish hours south of Broome and I'm so excited to get there. I've always said that the next place I'll live is Broome and I'm just 99% sure that I'm going to really love it there. So I'm so excited that I'm close and yeah, it is an absolutely beautiful day here. But just as you turn off to get down here, there's a station called Pardu like Roadhouse station where you can fill up gas and eat and stay. And there was a cyclone that hit here only about a month ago and it hit that station at category five and the whole roof blew off, which is really, really sad. So I hope that they do end up rebuilding that because yeah, that is awful. But yeah, I am gonna stay around here tonight. So we'll check out some of the beaches and yeah, see what we get up to. So I've walked around to the other side of the beach and there's all these little caves here which is really cool. I'm not really 100% sure if it's coral or if it's like red rock but there's heaps around and it's really cool to walk through. I'm also not 100% sure if there's crocodiles in this water. Now that we're getting pretty far north they will start to appear. I'm pretty sure they're more present around Broome if not just above Broome but you might get the odd one that passes through but I might double check that fact. <laughs> Okay, I googled it and yeah, they're not really present around Broome. They're more in the river systems and they start just above that. But you still may see like one or two if you're unlucky. <laughs> also, in the wet season, so in summer, as soon as you get up north, you've got to be careful of irigangi, which is like stingers is another word for it. And pretty much they're tiny microscopic jellyfish that are in the water. And yeah, they can sting you and they can essentially kill you as well. So there's usually stinger nets around the beaches and you swim in them. But yeah, during winter, which is what we're coming into now, you're usually okay. I thought that we'd come down for a little drive along the beach, but I was just speaking to some locals that live in Port Hedland, which is just down the road from here. And they were explaining how the cyclones sort of work in Western Australia compared to Queensland, which is where I'm familiar. So in Queensland, when there's a cyclone, like the whole area gets like gale force winds, torrential rain, like it's a massive sort of section that gets affected. But apparently in Western Australia, it's got like a direct line and they live just down the road. And when that cyclone hit, they didn't even get like any more wind or any rain or anything. It just sort of went straight to that point and then just went straight inland. So yeah, that's a bit of an interesting fact. I am just like adamant that I'm meant to live in this sort of climate because anytime I'm in this sort of heat, my mood and my whole existence just exaggerates by like 4,000. So it's like 35 degrees today and I cannot even explain how bloody beautiful it is. <laughs>
So there's all these things on the beach. To begin with, I thought it was a turtle shell and I freaked out that he was like stuck in the sand. But I have no idea what they are. And they're like a little bit jelly sort of. If anyone knows what they are, let me know. So the water is actually warm. That is seriously so nice. That is like beautiful, but they're quite heavy, but there's definitely nothing in it. But what even is that? They were seriously some of the most beautiful shells I've ever seen in my life. They were seriously all so perfect, but uh, we'll make our way back across and we'll try and find a campground. I saw one before that really caught my eye. So fingers crossed there's nobody there. <laughs> Sorry, the spot that I wanted is still free. So you get pretty much like almost a 360 degree view of this whole area. So happy with this one. We'll set up camp and we'll wait for the sun to go down. So I thought I'd actually set up my awning because as soon as that sun goes down, I'll be able to connect these lights up to the power box and then I'll have light. But yeah, this is gonna be a lovely spot for sunset. <laughs> a new rule and it's to fly the drone before you set up camp because you would have seen there's like a circle patch like literally 50 meters down there which probably would have been a better spot but that's okay we still got a pretty good one here but yeah definitely gonna do that from now on <laughs> so as you may or may not know all my mates are in the east coast and i have really not met any girls like traveling by themselves especially not over the west side and i just made a friend <laughs> so she's gonna come and camp which would be really cool and yeah she's doing the same thing as me driving around in her highlights and she's got the cutest dog all right so this is cody <laughs> and this is river hey river way too cute Love <laughs> yes i'm still going I can't believe the color of it. <laughs> yeah he is gonna turn into red dog <laughs> you are filthy oh that would be cute so river is two and he's a border collie and you are seriously just the cutest thing okay you can have more pets <laughs> also look at that sunset this is Cody's Hilux. It's so cool. I absolutely love those sidebars. They are on my list of things to get. So good. And with the surfboard on the top. And then she doesn't get as much dust in, which is so much better because she's got the canopy on the top. So nice. It looks great though. <laughs> Perfect. Morning, 
so I actually just put my phone down last night and chilled out. But yeah, Cody's from Sydney in Australia, obviously. And yeah, we've sort of done a similar route, but we've just kept missing each other. But yeah, she's heading to Broome as well, but then she's going across to Darwin a little bit quicker than I am, where I'm going to take my time a little bit more. So I'll see her in Broome, and then I'll probably see her again in Darwin as well. But what I'm going to do today is I'm going to keep on driving up this main highway and go to Barn Hill Station, which is a station stay, and I'll camp there tonight. And one of my best mates, he lives up in Broome, so he's going to drive down and meet me there, which will be really cool. So yeah, we'll head on up there now. Alright, this is Shaden who decided to dye his hair black the other day. <laughs> Look, tell him it looks absolutely terrible. Alright, so this is his kitchen side. This is the absolute dream. And then, what was his side? Hospitality side. Yeah. He's probably stolen all of these to be completely honest. <laughs> but that is so much better. I'm not a YouTuber. <laughs> Alright, he wanted to get the Weber out to show you guys as well. <laughs> Definitely a little bit better than mine. So I'm gonna chuck some bathers on and then we're gonna go and head down to the beach and just chill out for the rest of the afternoon. So I'm gonna wrap the video up here. So thank you so much for watching guys. I really appreciate it and I will see you in the next one.